Hey YouTube land, it's Miss Flair again today, and you're watching Fabulous Real Talk. Listen, I got some fabulous real talk for you today. Cassie, let's talk about her. I love Cassie, and let me tell you, I've been checking out what's going on in all these clips on YouTube that are putting her pictures up and things like that. And you know, I just want to respond, and I just want to talk about Cassie's response to you know, the adversity, the adversity about her naked pictures. I want to say, Cassie, kudos to you, baby. I love the way you handled yourself. You know, yeah, naked pictures of your breasts are out there on the internet, you know, for the whole world to see. It's out there. What can you do? You cannot do anything about it. You can't do it. You know, you can't take it back. Somebody broke into your computer and hacked into, into your computer and what's done is done. A little bit of advice. Don't take any more naked pictures. But kudos to Cassie for the way she handled her business. She handled herself very well. And she just said basically, you know what? It's out there, move on. If you're not used to breast, then get a life. And I agree. So we're gonna move on on that note. Um, there's, some, uh, there's some information that I wanna give to you YouTubers and you artists out there. Um, but before I do that, I wanna just say, I got something that I want to tell you about um, regarding this industry and promoters. You know, if you're a club promoter and um, you have these artists and these labels out here and, and these people that represent labels, well, some of them are crooks. I'm putting it out there. You got people that work for labels like Grand Hustle. Yeah, I said it, Grand Hustle. Now, I don't have anything against T.I. I think he's a wonderful man, a wonderful businessman. Um, but some of you, you know, some of you artists that have label-driven label artists, you got to know what's going on in your, in your backyard. You got to know what's going on in your own house. And I will say this. Sometimes you have people that are volunteers or people that work for your label that are not representing you well. And they're taking money that they shouldn't be taking under the table, promising things they can't promise. So, not that it happened to me, but I know somebody that it happened to. Now, they should have came and talked to me first before they made the deal. But since they didn't, let me just give you the tip of the day. If you are a club promoter and you, are, you want an artist that you want to hire, go through the general manager. Go through the people that run the label that make the decisions. Because, see, when you try to do this, this shady stuff and you try to get the artist for the low, low, nine times out of ten, you're going to get the no no. So go through the general manager. Go go through the general manager and go through the right channels. You know, that's all I'm saying. Do it the right way the first time and you won't have that problem. Alright, so that's it for me today. You're watching Fabulous Real Talk. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs>